Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson. It is Sunday morning, and I am praising the Lord for an opportunity to worship Him in spirit and in truth again in this day, to gather together with brothers and sisters. And those of you online, around 1030, you'll be able to watch that live. Today, I'm going to get to this. I have a very serious alert from my intel sources. I'm going to explain just momentarily, and, and then I'm going to be going to spend a little more time in prayer and preparing for early service. I preached three services today. In between, I'll be on. There's other world news I want to share. Sabbath is really Friday evening sundown till Saturday evening sundown. And, but we're not bound by legalism, so don't, I'm not going there. Sabbath, the celebration, as God established it, was to be just like the seven feast days as God established them. They were holy convocations or dress rehearsals. Think about Passover. Passover was a foreshadowing in the Passover in Egypt where the death angel and judgment passed over those who had the blood applied, praise God, to the tops and sides of their door, was a foreshadowing a Mashiach of Jesus, Messiah, who would shed his precious blood once for all, praise the Lord, on the cross at Calvary. And he died. He did that on Passover. He was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead. And again, he was buried on unleavened bread, so he died on Passover, was buried on unleavened bread, and he rose again on first fruits. The outpouring of Holy Spirit on Shavuot, or what we call Pentecost, was one of the seven feast days. And then we have the three fall feast days that are yet to, there has been partial fulfillment. And obviously, uh, in the Old Testament, there is yet to be prophetic fulfillment, things that it points to. They are dress rehearsals. We call them holy convocations. Well, Shabbat, Sabbath, or when we come together, it, it doesn't matter whether it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when you come together as brothers and sisters in Christ, and we come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, submit to Holy Spirit, let him have his way, invite him, then they are dress rehearsals. Dress rehearsals for what? When you gather today, I want you to think about this. As you come together, now, if you can't go to church and you do it online or, you, or you're going to watch our YouTube live as I'm preaching, I want you to picture yourself because you're connected with brothers and sisters not only here in central Illinois, but around the world. We will have people from around the world, and we give God all the glory, who are watching that live. I want you to picture the gathering, because brothers and sisters, what I'm sharing with you, the rapture is imminent. It could be at any moment. As I share this with you, I want to tell you about a recurring dream that I keep having, I see men, they're in dark, but I can tell they're military. And I really believe that they're from China, and I see them. I don't know where they're landing, what land. I don't know if it's here. I see them, I believe it is also. I see them in parachutes coming down in remote areas. So that's just my dream that I'm sharing with you, but this is really critical. I will have mockers and scoffers and critics. In fact, uh, Paladin for Christ is now a team member. What a wonderful, mighty young man of God he is and what a blessing he already is in my life helping me uh, with this channel. We're, we're doing this together. Many of you are. Thank you for your support through prayer and otherwise and praying for one another. It's It just blesses me. Yesterday I was speaking with him on the phone and, and I, I laughed. I said it's been a light day with the with the hate. And he said, why? I said, well, I've only been called um, a heretic, a liar, and an ugly black Jew today. Well, I said it too quickly because then with some comments, some messages, and some some things that happened as I was ministering outside, I was called some really not nice things, but it doesn't matter. I only share that with you because we fight not against flesh and blood. Remember that, but against principalities, powers, dark spirits, demonic forces. That's what Ephesians 6 tells us. So don't become overcome with that because greater is he who's in us than he who's in the world. Here's what I want to share with you. And this is from my intel sources. Oh, what I was going to tell you. I'm sorry, I digress. There's so much I want to share and so little time. And I don't take for granted, you know, 
I may not even get to preach today. We don't know. We're not guaranteed our next moment. Jesus is truly coming at any moment. Even yesterday, the messages, not, I'm not talking about comments. I'm talking about private emails that came to me. There was a man who was bashing me. Some of you shared. He did make a comment. He said, this man is a liar because I, I mentioned I shared links. So many have criticized me when I don't share links and I have Intel sources. And later when I share the links that prove out the Intel sources, and I say the Intel source said this on a couple of those, he came back and said, you're lying. You're saying Intel sources gave you this. These are links. You even mentioned the links. Right. If I were going to lie to you, why would I mention the links? He wasn't following. It's like the people who will look at the titles and criticize or listen to part of the video and then think they know the whole or the entirety of the video and then go out and spew hatred. But you know what? That's going to happen. We are going to get that in this season because the enemy does not want us watching and knowing. And in fact, in many of our countries, many of you in Europe share and in other parts of the world share that you don't get this news that comes from this channel. So while this is how I ask Holy Spirit to lead me in what to share. We have prayer time. We're going into Bible study soon. You'll be able to watch the sermon every day, every day over, I'd say the past couple months at least, wouldn't you say family? Um, I have been bringing you news that is tied to links that is not necessarily mainstream media, but it's truth. And also, I praise God for my intel sources. God orchestrated that. This comes from my a primary intel source. And I, this is, when I say this is an alert, this is a real alert. China has issued a preparation decree for all out war. You heard me right, for all out war. They have moved their intercontinental ballistic missile vehicles right to their borders and now are ready to send out the national inscription letters to all the men of the country. That's a letter that calls them forth in preparation for war. That will activate 200 million troops. This is from my primary intel source. I don't know exactly when all this is going to happen, but I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this intel source has been accurate and correct. If some will say, how do you know that? How do you know that? And the critics are going to come out, I know that. I'm telling you what this intel source has shared with me. This intel source is a spirit-filled, mighty person of God. And brothers and sisters, based on my dreams and based on these end times, based on what I share almost every day with action, activity, and movements of China and Russia. In fact, I think the alliance of China and Russia behind the scenes, I have not been given this, but I believe this in my spirit, are getting stronger and stronger. We already know it with Russia, Iran, Turkey, Sudan, and Libya, and Syria. With all the convergence of signs, I did one yesterday, but I want to keep this one. I'll do an update. There's a lot of world news. I will do a news update a little bit later. And you will have the opportunity this morning of, of hearing live, even if it's later, the message. And then should the Lord tarry this evening, uh, I'll, be, I'll be teaching back on faith without works is dead from James. We know that we're saved by grace through faith. I, I did a video yesterday on that, but tonight I'm going to exegete. I'm going to go through each of those verses. And praise God, I, I'm believing that some of you are going to be uh, set free from that heresy of faith plus works. And then you'll be able to share it with others. Time is up. We are at, and here's the word, we, it's very strong in my spirit, uh, Blue Heaven, Sister Gigi, you, you confirmed it. You got the same thing. We are at a tipping point. Brothers and sisters, while it's sobering, it's also glorious. So we want to occupy and redeem the time. We want to share the gospel of grace right now. Be fully engaged in the moment. When you're with your family and friends and you're with your church family and friends and, and even 
if, if you're not going and you're gathered here, I want you to know something. Even if you're watching online today, whether it's during that time or later, I want you to know that God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. I am so looking forward, of course, of being gathered together with our bridegroom very, very, very soon. And I am looking forward to celebrating with you my brothers and sisters, we are heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ Jesus. Remember, remember, we can do all things, Philippians 4.13, through Christ, which strengthens us. And the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead abides in you. You have resurrection power in you. This is not meant to, to cause you to fear. It's meant to give us the alert and let us know we are closer than we have ever been before. And we know that time-wise, we are in the very, I mean the very final moments of the end of days, and that's glorious for us. Now, let's take that time to share the gospel of grace, allow Holy Spirit to lead us, and be fully present and engaged. When, when I see my, my wife, my children, my loved ones, my family here at the church, I'm going to call my dad later today and just let him know, Dad, I love you and I honor you and, and I miss you, but I'll see you soon. Well, brothers and sisters, I'll see you soon. Have an awesome rest of your day. Shalom.